Here's your latest African news. Diaspora. Afrimex Bank and Government of Barbados enter milestone understanding for Africa diaspora trade ties. African Export Import Bank and Government of Barbados have signed a memorandum of understanding to expand trade and investment links between Africa and the Caribbean island state. Under the MOU, the two parties will explore opportunities of joint investment and trade finance aimed at expanding economic ties between Africa and Barbados. The government will also facilitate knowledge sharing between Afrimex Bank and the Government of Barbados, providing businesses and investors on either side of the Atlantic with higher quality information with which to pursue trade and investment opportunities. This knowledge sharing will include collaborative use of electronic platforms for customer due diligence patterns, trade exchanges, trade information, and regulatory details. Afrimex Bank will also include putting in place a financial facility in the amount of 250 million US dollars to support trade and investment exchange. The agreement is set to increase the flow of goods and services while enhancing connectivity between African nations and Barbados. The two parties will actively promote coordinated development and trade finance from both public and private sectors. Kenya Kenya ranked fourth globally in cryptocurrency interest. Kenya has been ranked fourth globally in cryptocurrency interest. The research shows crypto searches originating from Kenya in the last 12 months totaled 99,810 or an equivalent of 18 searches for every 10,000 persons. Meanwhile, the number of crypto owners in Kenya is estimated at 4.6 million. In Kenya, cryptos are synonymous with Bitcoin, the world's most largest and valued cryptocurrency on set. The new research is based on an analysis of top global searches over the last 12 months of cryptocurrency related searches. The survey also tackled the number of crypto owners and the global crypto adoption index. Kenya's ranking is only behind Ukraine, Russia and the United States, which topped the charts with the highest crypto awareness scores. Kenya's awareness score is tabulated at 5.5 points out of a possible 10. Sierra Leone Sierra Leone abolishes death penalty Sierra Leone has formally abolished the death penalty, becoming the 23rd African country to repeal capital punishment. President Julius Madabayo on Friday signed the bill into law after legislators in the former British colony had voted unanimously in its favor on July 23rd. Under the new law, execution will be replaced with life imprisonment or a minimum of a 30-year jail term for crimes such as murder or mutiny. The bill also gives judges additional discretion when issuing sentences, which opponents of capital punishment say is particularly important in cases where the person convicted is a victim of sexual violence. Civil society groups have fought for years for the death penalty to be abolished in the country, which is still recovering after decades of civil war. Libya Migrants demand deportation to a safe place. Migrants in the Libyan capital Tripoli demanded immediate deportation to a safe location due to harsh living conditions in detention centers and ill treatment by Libyan authorities. Dozens of migrants protested on Sunday outside the United Nations High Commission for Refugees headquarters in the Libyan capital Tripoli where protesters held banners. The organization said that approximately 10,000 men, women and children are detained in poor conditions in official detention facilities in Tripoli. UNHCR officials say that tensions with migrants demanding urgent aid and their deportation from Libya resulted in the injury of two staff members and impeded the access of other asylum seekers to the center. Uganda Activists protest German open pit coal mine Ugandan climate activists on Saturday visited a vast German open pit coal mine and a village that is to be bulldozed for its expansion, saying the destruction is really disturbing and has implications far beyond Germany. The visit by young climate activists comes a few weeks before UN climate talks open in Glasgow, Scotland on October 31st. The Gazweiler lignite mine, operated by utility giant RWE, has become a focus of protest by people who want Germany to stop extracting and burning coal as soon as possible. Activists and local residents say expanding the mine runs counter to Germany's goal of reducing greenhouse gas emissions to meet the Paris Climate Accords target of capping global warming at 1.5 degrees Celsius or 2.7 degrees Fahrenheit. They also oppose the destruction of villages such as Luatsarats and nearby woods to make way for the mine. Coal mining is due to end in Germany by 2038 but environmentalists say it needs to stop much earlier. Africa wide. The international community strikes a groundbreaking tax deal for the digital age. Major reform of the international tax system has been finalized at the OECD 
will ensure that multinational enterprises will be subjected to a minimum 15% tax rate from 2023. The landmark deal, agreed by 136 countries and jurisdictions representing more than 90% of the global GDP, will also reallocate more than 125 billion US dollars of profit from around 100 of the world's largest and most profitable multinational enterprises to countries worldwide, ensuring these firms pay a fair share of tax wherever they operate and generate profits. Following years of intensive negotiation to bring the international tax system into the 21st century, 136 jurisdictions out of the 140 members of the OECD or G20 Inclusive Framework of BEPS joined the statement on the two-pillar solution to address the tax challenges arising from digitalization of the economy. It updates and finalizes a July political agreement by members of the Inclusive Framework to fundamentally reform international tax rules. Algeria Algeria demands total respect from Paris. Algerian President Abdul Majid Taboun demanded total respect for Algerian state from Paris. The crisis between Paris and Algeria started after comments issued in early October by President Macron on the French press accusing Algiers of maintaining a political military system by serving its people an official history that is not based on truths. The comments sparked outrage in Algiers that responded by recalling its ambassador in Paris and banning French military airplanes from flying over its territory. On Sunday, President Tabon announced that the return of the ambassador to Paris is conditional on the respect of Algeria and the Algerian state. Responding to the diplomatic spat last Tuesday, President Macron wished for appeasement between Paris and Algiers. Thanks for watching. Visit our YouTube channel Tunacheki to watch our daily news reports and our website tunacheki.tv for all the latest news updates. Also, don't forget to catch our new show Startup Africa every Thursday on our channel. You can directly support this new series by becoming our YouTube member or becoming a Patreon. And remember, Africa is watching.